In the previous video, we saw how to create a, uh, a distance locator and a distance sensor to keep track of the flexing of our arm. Um, now, what we will do is that we will uh, create the actual muscle solver uh, applied to the brachialis muscle, which is the muscle involved in the, uh, in the action of flexing the arm. So let's select the geometry and let's apply the Adonis FX muscle on top of it. Let's rename the, the solver so that we can know all the time what the solver is for. So this is the Brachialis ADN muscle solver. And let's work with uh, the parameters. So first of all, we're going to uh, check the scale attribute. Um, in this scene, one centimeter in Maya um, uh, equates to one centimeter in the real world. Let me turn off those lights. Yeah. Um, so we don't need to apply any scale, but yeah, check the documentation for this um, and how to use the scale properly in case you're not working in a one-to-one -one scale in Maya. Uh, then uh, we have gravity, which will be 9.8. And uh, we're going to set up the uh, mass properties. Um, we uh, suggest to use a bi-density mode for mass, which means that you're going to use real uh, muscle mass, uh, muscle density to compute the mass depending on the volume. And then I like to work with a mass multiplier of 0 0.1. It's just the easier way to get to a first result as soon as possible, okay? Because it will just make all of the uh, setup uh, extremely snap, snappy um, so that you don't have to fiddle too much with all the parameters of the um, and maps of the muscle. Then you can go with triangulate mesh. Uh, which will uh, um, create, uh, will triangulate the geometry so that we, you will have way more constraints being computed. Um, we'll make it a little bit slower, but uh, better in terms of results. Then we want to get rid of hard attachments. Hard attachments will make um, all of the attachments extremely um, uh, stiff and um, and uh, stick to the uh, to the target geometry as much as possible. Um, so it will be very very hard to paint, etc. Uh, use this only in very very few occasions when you want to uh, to no matter what you want that point to pin uh, to the um, to the uh, target geometry and we want the sliding to be computed with quality, not in fast mode because we want best result possible on this arm. Max sliding distance, let's set it up with one centimeter, which will mean that each point that will be sliding on the target will be able to slide uh, by a maximum of one centimeter in all directions. Okay, so now we have the basic setup uh, for this uh, muscle which means that we're ready now to uh, attach the muscle to the, uh, to the mummy. So let's make the mummy visible and let's select the mummy, select the muscle and click on the add muscle target uh, button. So now the mummy became a target for our muscle. We will create uh, another um, uh, short video to show you how this will work in case you wanted to attach the muscle to the joints instead of the uh, bones geometry. So you can, in uh, uh, Adonis, select, decide whether you want to work with joints for a fully rigging-like um, experience or uh, to the bones geometry for a full CFX-like uh, experience. Uh, and you can also mix and match if you want to. Uh, but yeah, we will talk about this in a separate video. So now that we have attached the muscle to the, um, to the mummy, we can, sorry, we can select the muscle and click on the paint tool. And here we can come, I like to, uh, turn off the uh, color correction 
and turn on x-rays so this allows us to truly truly see what we're doing so uh, I also like to use a very sharp brush here it goes so we have our yeah we have our attachment here uh, which will be the tendon to the uh, to the bone and here too yeah it's the attachment of the tendon to the bone now um, it is also true that typically um, in uh, in a real body what you are a fantastic creature body um, for what matters you will have the external fascia which is the layer that contains all of the muscles it will be pushing towards the inside and compressing all the muscles towards the bone and in order to emulate that what we actually do is we have a baseline attachment of 0.1 here um, if you want these to not be too stiff and to not to be too uh, yeah really really uh, compressing the muscles you can go for a lower uh, value for these uh, uh, these like uh, baseline attachment okay you can go with 0 0.01 for instance if you want that compression to happen but just not so harsh uh, but again we're aiming here for values and setup uh, a setup that um, can get you very very quickly where you want to be okay so there it is and now on under the belly we are going to go with 0 0.5 to make sure that uh, the uh, the connective tissue that lays between the muscle um, and the um, and the bone is truly uh, sorry i'm using add i should be using replace in this case yeah because we just want to paint the value okay so i am I have undone it and painted again with 0 0.5 yeah so uh, there you go um, so now there is connective tissue uh, connecting the, um, the uh, on the back side of the of the muscle to the um, to the geometry so now we can check these out yeah and you can see that the muscle is behaving together with the bone um, I also like to give it um, something like a 0 0.5 sliding yeah here it is and very very powerful sliding here under the the muscle like this which will enable us uh, will enable this muscle to slide on top of the uh, geometry of the bones and i really don't like much sliding here i just like this part which is the tendon area to be quite free to move okay so here it is well we can also get rid of this i believe so let's try this out yeah okay now uh, it's time to connect the uh, time to paint the fibers for this muscle and to uh, actually connect the muscle to the sensor for the flexing of the arm.